Wait, I made it. Is it still after you? I think so. I got a plan. Head for the labs. Hello, I'm Sean Insane in the game and welcome back to Alien Isolation. And this trap we've been trying to set for the alien has been going wrong right from the start. First of all, we tried to trap it in the stairwell, and then I got trapped in there with it. So my good friend Ricardo opened the door to let me out, but which in turn had the bad side effect of also letting the alien out. And that put us right back to step one. But Waits has another idea, and I'm now following his orders to lead the alien to another part of the station, in the hopes that we can find somewhere else to trap it. So you guessed it, I am well and truly the bait once again. And we have just entered a new area, and should I be at all worried that the shutters have just opened, all on their own? There is no sign of the alien at the moment, but I'm in no doubt whatsoever that he is around here somewhere, waiting for me when I least expect it. I mean, he didn't die of natural causes now, did he? Oh bugger, a keycard required. And he doesn't have one. The door at the end, I might be able to cut my way through there though, but now I know about that room, I do really want to find out what's in it, because it's hidden behind a keycard. So let's go find said card. Oh, and is that the alien? Hmm, back already then. So this appears to be the only way, and I think the alien is just through there, so, um, you know, great. Yeah, he's around here somewhere. You don't get a moment's peace while you're being hunted by the alien, do you? And this seems to lead the way to the security room that overlooks the other area. There's not much of interest in here, so I'll just, you know, have a wander around and loot everything I can find. And ignore the creepy sounds, as best as I can. And out the other side of the room just loops back to the way I've came, so I'm now heading back down here towards, you know, the alien bleep. I'm really hoping for a keycard soon in this area somewhere, but there's something moving in the next room. So, just need to take things really slowly and try and be as quiet as possible. And okay, by the sounds of it, that's not actually the alien, unless his uh, impressions of humans have improved quite dramatically. Loot him and let's see what this person has to say. Uh, hello, are we good? You don't have a gun, do you? Don't want to talk, huh? Wait, what? Oh, sorry, I thought that said hold for hug for a moment. He looks like he needs a hug. Sorry, mate, no hugs for you, then. I heard something in the vents a while back. Stay on your toes. <laughs> you heard something in the vent? Well, lucky you. I've been running from it for hours. Oh, bugger, I can hear it. Wait, hang Oh, bloody hell, it's behind me. Okay, well that was quite lucky, it actually walked right behind me. Oh wait, the other guy was through there. Oh well. Well, I could not find the keycard at all, which is a shame, so I suppose I can't go in there yet then. Oh wait, use keycard. Oh okay, I suppose I found the keycard then. Oh god, he's down and right behind me. And I think he may have seen me. And yes, he's just the other side of that window. Lucky me. And once again, I'm hiding under a table when he enters the room, like a real hero. And there he is. Hang on, this is a really bad hiding spot. All he has to do is turn around and he can see me. And yeah, he's going to. I think he's going to be able to see me. 
or maybe not. Access the project's labs. Well, I am trying, but could you please give me a moment? Right, he's come down somewhere else, so I might have a bit of time to explore this room now. That's all blocked off, and I can't pick that up. God, I don't know where he is now. Okay, then back under the table. What shall we play now? Oh, great. No, I don't want to play at the moment, thank you. Right, I've got to open the door at the end, so why in fact am I in this room? He seems to have stopped over there, finished exploring this room, and then get the hell out of here. Oh, bloody hell, is there any need for that? And he must have heard that. I mean, if he can hear me walking, then he can hear an explosion like that. I can't actually find anything in this room that I really need, so was getting the keycard actually needed, or just a waste of time? Well, there is a recording in this room, but is that all there is? Because that really does seem a little bit, you know, underwhelming. Okay, let's just get the other door open, as the alien seems to have buggered off and give me a bit of time. Blue flame. Red flame. Must be something to do with the metal I'm burning. Either that or Ripley just really likes red flames. Oh, sorry if you're listening to the recording. It's just that ransom chap again. You know, just explaining why he's such an arsehole. Wait, I'm in. The lab can be separated from the main station. Bring it back online and systems can reconnect. Right, so I guess I'm going down then. And I'm also guessing that the alien left this area, so he's waiting down there for me somewhere, which is really nice of him, don't you think? Okay, should I be wearing one of these, do you think? I do feel like they're here for a reason. And you know, better safe than sorry, right? Well, okay, if you're sure. God, does this door go outside? Okay, maybe I'm still safe for the time being. He doesn't look too good, does he? And I'll just work my way around here. Restore power. Okay, how? There's some vents in the floor I could use, but where am I going? So I need to get in there. So how this area is actually laid out means I have to go all the way round. Great. So I can't go up that one and it all looks locked up there anyway. So just keep working my way around the scarily dark corridor and keep away from that android, he might be a grabby one. And it should be the next door, so I actually worked my way around here with very little problem. But he's still about, I can hear him in the vents every now and then. And this is the room that I need, and I can actually hear a save point. So far, so good for plan C or D. I'm not 100% sure which one we're on at the moment, but it's going well. And that cannot be good. I mean, is there something dead up there? Well, I hope it's dead anyway.
Good God, he's right above me. Right, I need to use this and hope it's not too loud. Okay, that was loud under the table. That's it. I can see a power spike. Now, reconnect the lab systems to Sebastopol from the console in the central lab. We're counting on you, Ripley. Uh, okay, thanks. Hazardous material being detected. Hang on, what do you mean by hazardous material? And of course I do, I need to go all the way around again, but this time with an alien most likely chasing me. But wait, that door's open now, so that might make it a little bit quicker for me. Good God, he's right above me again. Um, don't move. Okay, I need to move, let's go. And this looks a hell of a lot scarier now, and I did not think that was possible. I don't have as far to go this time, and there's still no sign of the alien whatsoever, which is a bit worrying, really. I suppose in a good sort of way. And I just have to go down there. Yeah, this is just a little bit too easy at the moment. He's still about, and I can actually now see the terminal I need to use. Hang on, are all those doors open? Could I be using some of them? I don't remember seeing other doors to get in here. Time to use the tuner, not quite as stressful as it is when the alien's walking around. But I do tend to panic a little bit while trying to do one of these. Oh god yes, he is going to hear that, isn't he? Escape the lab. Um, yeah, uh, give me a minute, would you? And I'm not alone. God, I think he's actually in the room with me. He's outside the room, so that is some good news. And that's not really good news, I have to go the long way round. Okay, let's do it, just one table at a time. He's coming this way. Oh no, he's gone up. Right, my time to move. And he's back down, where the hell is he? Okay, over there, and what is over there? Right, over there is the way I need to be going. Lovely. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay, move. And back down, oh my god. I think he saw me, uh, yep. Flaming time. Take that, you overgrown shrimp. You know what? He actually knows I'm here, so I think it's just time to run. Oh, I'm gonna make it. Sorry. What? Oh god, thanks, mate. And I'm flying. That is not good, because humans aren't meant to fly. Gravity? Oh, right, gravity. Whoa, things have all gone just a little bit spinny. And right, I've got to get all the way over there while everything is spinning. For the first time, I'm glad I'm not playing this in VR. And yes, I do mean the first time. Please proceed 
Oh my god, this is just weird. With all the spinning and all the difficulty walking, I need to get out of this area fast. And the alien seems to have got scared with all of this as well and just ran off and hid somewhere. Well, I hope he has anyway. Fuck. Okay, there's the exit. Yes. Okay, how? Must be this and are you dead? Are you dead? Yes, you're dead. And now for the button. Good God, that's loud. Okay, time to hide again. Yes, all I needed was another alarm just about now. Oh, buggies, come out to check it out. And he's just looking at the light, a bit like a cat, really. Oh God, is anyone starting to feel a bit sick at the moment? Go on, lose interest and go. Oh, he's going and that door should unlock soon. Is that good or bad? Right, I'm going. Oh, no, he's just in there. And where the hell has he gone? Oh, bugger, he's over there. Oh, and now he's come to get me. I think he knows I'm here. Time for more fire. Right, must run. Run faster. And out. God, get up. All good. Wait, is that outside? Oh, God, I need a suit. Hang on, am I a vampire as there's no reflection in the helmet? Right, I just need to get out of this suit and then we need to have a little bit of a talk. Hello? <sighs> Hello? Can anyone hear me? Ripley, is that you? Yes, wait. Me, you son of a bitch! You locked me in! You blew the lab into space! I had no choice. No choice at all. You saw that thing. You saw what it could do. I had to get it off the station. By any means necessary. Yeah. Use me as bait. <laughs> I mean to die. And it goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing jettisoned it into the gas giant. The station's safe. There's that. And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. I'm heading back to the Bureau. We can discuss your methods there. Ripley out. So with the alien off the station and Ripley pissed at weights, this seems as good a place as any to stop this playthrough. I know I'm only about halfway through the game and yes of course the alien threat is not dead but you'll have to give the game a go yourself to find out why. Oh I know where I am. But there is a big game coming out soon and as I am a big fan of the franchise I will be playing that 
and as I have limited time, something had to go, and unfortunately Alien Isolation has now been put on the shelf. Fallout 76 will be coming out in November, and that will become my Monday night slot. To take us up to them, I do have another short series of The Long Dark that I've done, and I might start that. But also, the Fallout 76 beta, which I should be a part of, should start soon, so I want to fit that some point into my channel. I'll keep you all updated on my Twitter as soon as I know exactly what I'm doing. If I'm playing the beta and that takes over Monday, or if I play the Long Dark and have a short four-part series of that to take me all the way up to the release of Fallout. And as for Alien Isolation, I don't really feel like I have to give too much of a review for this. Anyone who has actually watched the series all the way through will know that I do actually love this game. I don't think there's any bad points in this game whatsoever. I believe the story length is perfect. The characters are great. The one bad point I have heard about this is that the storyline does go on far too long. But for me, that is not a bad point. I love a really long game. And there are large parts of this game where you actually do feel fair as you're being hunted by the alien. And there are actually some really good parts of the story still to come. Oh, hang on. Shotgun time. I will not be following you anywhere. Oh, can't pick any of that up. Well, I suppose he got the last laugh then. This has been one of my favourite games from the last few years. All that is left for me to say is, if you liked, please drop a like. Please subscribe to my channel to never miss a video. Please comment below or on Facebook or Twitter with all the links in the description. I'm Sean Insane in the Game. This was my Alien Isolation playthrough, and I hope to see you all in the safe zone.